Hi folks, this is Carrie Stack over at All Seasons RV in Streetsboro, Ohio. Today I'm going to do an overview of the Sonic 220 VBH. You can see I have one right in front of me. And right off the bat you can see it has a lot of features uh, that really make it a nice couples coach. Um, you've got the nice oversized diamond plate up front. Uh, which is coated so it doesn't oxidize and and look uh, rusty quickly so that's always good keeping your camper in good shape you've got a power tongue jack on the front so you don't have to stand there and crank it and of course it would come with two 20 pound propane tanks as well as a battery on these sonics you don't have a separate roof membrane it's one piece of fiberglass from front to back so that means you don't have extra seams to worry about you don't have a separate roof material to worry about coating and conditioning especially if it if that material is rubber. So with this it's very low maintenance and you don't have the risk of water finding its way through some of those extra seams that you do with other campers. Coming around the side you can see you've got your front pass through storage area right here. It goes all the way through. Nice big storage space. Um, and of course in here you do also have a light so you can see what you're doing and you don't have to worry about balancing a flashlight. These storage doors are on magnets, so you don't have to worry about those little clips that always rip out of the sides. And they have slam latch baggage doors, so they just close like that. You can see that they put their stabilizer jacks on a 45 degree angle. That makes this camper a lot more stable when, you're, when you've got your jacks down and you're camping and you're walking around inside. You may notice that a lot of campers get a little extra movement. With these guys, the jacks work against each other to eliminate a lot of that extra wiggle. Continuing around on the side, you see I've got a power awning. You just push the button, the awning goes out eight feet. It does have LED lights in it. They're in the barrel of the awning, so once it's fully extended, you can angle them uh, any direction you'd like. You also have outside speakers on this unit, and you can play your music inside or outside or both. With these Sonics, you also get an LED light that illuminates the steps at night, and your grab handle lights up as well, so you can easily get in and out of your camper even if it's dark. Continuing around the outside, you can see you have your fresh tank fill here, and then you have some electrical outlets right here, as well as your cable hookup if you wanted to have a TV outside. It would just hook up right here, and then it would hook into that digital antenna that is already included in the camper. Hot water heater around the side here. It is a six gallon. It is gas and electric, so you can run it on either, or you can run it on both at the same time for a faster recovery. It usually ups it to about 16 gallons per hour. Outside shower is included on this unit. It is hot and cold water and there, there's your city water connection and of course your black tank flush. I'm a big fan of black tank flushes. You know a lot of folks are dragging garden hoses into their campers or buckets of water and dumping that into the toilet. With this it's so easy. You just hook a hose right up to this inlet. It activates a sprayer inside the tank itself. You can pull your releases and it flushes out that sediment. On the back of this camper you can also see that it is prepped and ready for a backup camera. So if you wanted to add one it would be very easy to do. And then you have your main power hookup as well as cable and satellite plug-ins. So if you're at a campground that has cable service you can just plug right in and you can watch TV in your camper all your usual shows. This camper also comes with a spare tire and cover as you can see here. And if we keep going around you've got another storage compartment which is underneath the bottom bunk and you can see it's nice and big. You've got a lot of flexibility on size and shape of items you can put in here. Again, slam latch and it's closed. Your releases are conveniently located. They're not sitting underneath the slide out. And then over here you've got your main electrical plug-in. So if we continue back around the side of this unit, we're going to go ahead and take a look inside. All right, so when we come inside, you can see you've got a huge U-shaped dinette right off the bat in that slide out. You can fit quite a few people in there, and of course that table will go down for extra sleeping as well, and you can actually get some taller folks that will have a place to sleep. I know a lot of those booth dinettes are pretty short. You've got a lot of windows in here. They do a good job with natural lighting, and you also get a skylight. Again, anytime you can add natural light in these campers is a good thing. Continuing over to the front here, you can see you've got your couch. These cushions, both on the couch and the dinette, are reversible. So you can have the pattern side out if you'd like, or you can have the leather side. 
You've got outlets on both sides, as you can see. So you have a lot of flexibility on where you can plug things in. There's a plug up here. You can also mount a TV over there. Your main TV area is gonna be back here, but I'll get to that in just a second. So up front here, you do have a Murphy bed. And I really like Murphy beds. They're an efficient use of the space. And I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how this Murphy bed works. So with these guys, all you gotta do is lay this couch flat like that. Pull your catch up here. You can leave your bed made. It's just a matter of tucking. Pull the comforter and there you go. So you can see your bed is still fully made. It doesn't take but five to ten seconds to put down and then you're ready to go to bed at night. You've got more LED lights up above the bed for reading and you've got more plugins. You've got a regular electrical plug in there and then you've got a spot for USB ports as well and those little shelves on either side so you can put your phone or your tablet whatever it is that you're needing to charge. You can see there are zippers in that front headboard. So if you are reading at night or using that tablet, you can just go ahead and tuck whatever magazine or book or tablet you have right in here for the morning. You don't have to get out of bed. Lots of storage in here. You've got storage up top, enclosed cabinets, not just shelves up top. And then over to the side, you've got your wardrobe cabinets. And of course you have one on either side. Continuing around, Back to the dinette area, you can see you have storage doors underneath the dinette. So you can put a lot of items under there. And then over to the side is our kitchen area. There's a lot to go over in this kitchen area. Right off the bat, there is no T-molding in this unit. This is a surfix wrap. So there's no seam here. You don't have to worry about water getting in there, that T-molding breaking off, and just looking a little shabby pretty quickly. You've got a lot of storage in here. You've got a cabinet on this side. Gives you a lot of space there. Coming around underneath. Got another nice big cabinet. Lots of space here. And then you get into your drawers. Good quality drawers. You can see you don't have any OSB. It's all plywood. Nice roller glides. And then you've got another cupboard over here as well underneath that cooktop. You've got covers on the sink and cooktop, so you can use those areas for counter space when you're not actively using them. You can see your sink is a double bowl sink. There we go. And then you have a two burner cooktop. You've got a vent hood and then you've got your convection microwave. So you can, you can also use it as an oven or a grill. It can really do a lot of different things. Nice big cupboards up above the sink area. You can see in there a lot of space for pots and pans, dishes, anything you might need. And of course your refrigerator is over to the side. I like that they use the, these Norcold fridges. They're a really nice product. You got your six cubic foot fridge here and then your freezer up top. One thing that I didn't mention yet, you do have a safe tech box on these. so. The end of the cabinet here looks like a regular end of the cabinet. It actually opens out and then you have places to charge things. You've got USB ports, you've got regular electrical plugs. You can put your phone in there and have it charging and it's not hanging out on the counter in plain view. It's also a good spot to stash your keys or wallet while you're on your camping trip and you wouldn't know it was there. Coming over here, you've got your entertainment area. Your TV would mount here. You've got your stereo here. It's a CD player, DVD player. Um, of course, it is Bluetooth capable as well, so you can play your music directly from your phone. And there are speakers inside and outside, so you can play your music either place or both. More storage in this cupboard here. Books, movies, games. Got a lot of flexibility there. And then you've got your bunk area. This camper can sleep up to six easily. You've got these nice size bunks. They're the teddy bear material, nice and soft. And then continuing over, you have your bathroom. You can see it's a good size bathroom. You've got your toilet, your sink, and then your shower right here. The shower is a, an angled shower. Gives you plenty of space. You got a skylight up above. Adds a lot of light and extra clearance for taller folks. You also have 
your vent fan up here, you may notice that this bathroom is nice and bright. Again, a lot of storage in here. So you've got your medicine cabinet with your mirror, you've got another shelf and then a cubby down beneath, and then you also have another storage cabinet under the sink. Over here, you've got a nice convenient location for your tank checks. You can check your gray water tank, black water tank, fresh water tank, and of course your battery usage. Turn on your water pump and your water heater from this location as well. Something else you may notice is this tank heater button. On these Sonics, the fresh water tank is enclosed and heated. So they want you to be able to use this really anytime you, you wanna go camping. Um, so you can use it a little bit later in the fall when you're going to see the leaves or a little bit earlier in the spring when you're trying to get some of that nice weather before, before Easter. Another thing I want to mention about this unit is that these floors are wood floors. A lot of fiberglass units you end up with a laminated floor. Those laminated floors over time can get really soft feeling. With these guys, you've got your wood look vinyl on top. Underneath you've got 5 8 tongue and groove plywood and you've got regular joists running underneath. So if you ever needed to make a repair, it would be really easy to do. You just pull up the vinyl, cut out the affected areas, and replace the plywood. With laminated floors, there really is no good way to repair those. So that's just a quick overview of the Sonic 220 VBH. This is a fantastic family camper. It's lightweight. A lot of vehicles can tow this, and it'll get you guys out camping and spending some time together. So on this particular one, we're looking at about 4,400 pounds on dry weight, so a lot of different vehicles can tow this. Come on out to Streetsboro, take a look at this unit. Um, you can ask for me, my name is Carrie. You can give us a call if you have any questions on it. The number is 330-564-0222. You can also send us an email. My email address is K as in Kite, E as in Edward, R as in Robert, R as in Robert Y, at A as in Apple, S is in Sam, R is in Robert, V is in Victor, S is in Sam.com. That's Carrie at ASRVS.com. So stop in, get in touch with us, and let's see if this is the camper for you. Thanks for watching.